new for 1948, the exciting new Morris. This minor is an ideal car for the modern woman. There's a spacious interior behind those flowing lines. And plenty of room for all those bits and bobs too. Well, things have changed since this, the first Morris Minor, appeared in 1948. Not just the cars, clothes or even the women. But somehow Morris Minors seem to have survived the fickleness of fashion and tests of time. Sir Alec built the first prototype in 1943. Now called the Minor, still had its American look, but at Nuffield's insistence had its modern power unit replaced by a 30s design. There was, however, one other major change as a four-inch wide band down the bonnet and on early cars as a spacer in the bumper. The car was an instant success, despite the resistance of senior management. It spawned many derivatives, a four-door, a convertible, vans, and, of course, the ever-distinctive wooden-framed Morris Traveller. But the best-known miner was the Thousand, introduced in 1956. In this form, production peaked in 58, and with remarkably few changes, ended in 1971. Today, the miner has attained cult car status. The Morris Minor Owners Club is dedicated to keeping the many thousands of cars on the road. At rallies like this one in Nottingham, it's still possible to buy just about every spare part you need, from a replacement headlight to a new seat, perhaps to what looks like a complete chassis kit. Of course, the miner's survival relies heavily on enthusiasts, and it certainly attracts all kinds of people. For some, it's a case of concourse presentation, with cars looking better than when they left the factory. Crude castings are polished to mirror finish, and even the smallest detail is perfect. But for the more down-to-earth, driving is most definitely what it's all about. But not everyone is a purist. This post office van is a wolf in sheep's clothing, with a high-performance Fiat engine under the bonnet. Do about over 100 top speed and under 10 seconds, not to 60. What sort of reaction do you get when you go tearing past someone? Uh, surprised faces and annoyance mainly <laughs> from the people that have spent six or seven thousand pounds on the car. They get blown away by what they think is an old banger. But it's the original car, as designed by Sir Alec that people covet now, especially with an open top. Forty years ago, the miner was well ahead of its time. Now it represents an older, slower world where speed doesn't matter. But as long as it's possible to trundle along in a convertible costing around 2,000 pounds, the miner will always be a classic. <laughs> 